If I were to ask you to name a famous wall in the game, undoubtedly the first thing that would pop into your head would be the CCTV wall of Clubhouse. Since Clubhouse has a map buff, strategies to open or keep the wall closed have come and gone. In this video, we are going to talk about some of those strategies. You might ask, why is it important to open CCTV wall? Why is it the first step of every CCTV and cache attack? The two most common takes on CCTV and cache sites are construction takes and garage takes. Let's quickly analyze the effect of CCTV wall on each take. If you want to do a garage take, opening CCTV wall will limit rafters player movement. And if you have Ace or Hibana, you can open rafters reinforce wall to apply even more pressure onto the rafters player. By opening CCTV wall, you will also block rotations from and to rafters. Defenders can't also rotate to CCTV. If attackers open both panels of CCTV wall, they will clear CCTV and they would have access to this plant spot by the bridge. But before planting, they should destroy this shield in radio. Time management is crucial for construction takes. Opening CCTV wall for this take has all the perks mentioned before. In this take, attackers won't be clearing rafters player right after they breach the wall. Instead, attackers will drone and clear bedroom, gym, jacuzzi hallway, bathroom, office and construction and then put a flank drone on main stairs. Meantime the flanks are being watched the UTG is getting his drone into a position for him. After having a flank drone, they open trash wall or office wall to have a long angle onto cash, especially this corner. Then attackers try to open construction wall, but they should be aware of a player in stage that might shoot or impact your hard breaching gadget. To deny impact or bandage tricking, attackers can send somebody below to open this line of sight from stock. They can also nade from top of construction wall while the hard breaching gadget is going off. To deal with the stage player, attackers can push from lobby, stock, bar, or construction hatch. Since attackers haven't dealt with rafters player yet, the defender has a line of sight onto cache. There are also defenders on top red stairs that have an angle onto cache which creates this 90 degree crossfire. After nading behind the cache table and droning for reassurance, attackers have successfully cleared cache. But still, this 90 degree crossfire and a very probable danger of flank exist. How would attackers eliminate one of these crossfires? It's not mandatory to kill one of these players to eliminate the crossfire. Just distracting one side of this crossfire at the right moment is enough. Attackers can clear rafters player by breaching this part of garage wall which creates this angle onto rafters and by trying to nade or flash the rafters player from CC window while attackers push from cache and platform. If attackers want to, they could also nade or flash top red stairs players to move them out of their positions. An attacker could try to push red stairs alone, but it's an inconsistent way of clearing top of red stairs. Somebody can also pick from CC bridge and kill top red stairs players. So to recap, for garage take, opening CCTV wall clears CCTV and applies pressure on rafters. For construction take, opening CCTV wall clears CCTV, pressures rafters and cache, also applies pressure on top red stairs, especially if attacker by the bridge swings at the right moment. That was a quick and very simplified rundown of both takes. Each of these takes deserve their own video, but I think you now understand how much pressure CCTV wall puts on defenders. It's important not to set impractical expectations. Against good teams, CCTV wall will always be open. Don't misunderstand me. Defenders should aim to keep CCTV wall closed, but they also need to realize this rarely occurs. Defenders' secondary goal should be to waste time 
utility and deny map control for as long as possible. The reason I like this ideology is that it sets the correct priorities and expectations. There's been lots of matches where defenders leave a strong position or stop bandit tricking and fall back just cause they wasted enough time. If it's part of your strat, it's fine. Otherwise, defenders need to understand when to hold their position and when to fall back. I'll repeat one more time. 95% of the times, CTV vault will be open. It's important to capitalize on those 5% of the times you can keep the vault closed and keep bandit tricking. Now let's see different strategies to open or keep CTV vault closed. To keep any wall closed, defenders can electrocute, jam, impact trick or have the map control needed to deny breaching. For CCTV wall, defenders can't do the last two things. Whenever you want to bandit trick or just stay in one spot, you have to be aware of soft surfaces and drone holes around you. And this is actually how attackers try to stop bandit tricking. One common way to stop bandit tricking is using Zofia's concussions. Zofia's concussions stop any animation that has a bar below it. After attackers put their hard breaching gadgets on the wall, Zofia uses concussions through this drone hole to stop the bandit tricking animation. Defenders adapted to this tactic and they started putting a barrier between bandit and Zofia's concussions. One of these barriers is barricade, which stops Zofia's concussions from instantly going off, but it still concusses bandit and stops the animation. So timing is very important for this method both for attack and defense. For more consistency, you could put a shield next to bandit. So concussions wouldn't affect bandit at all. Now you might ask why not put the shield on CCTV door. The main reason is the shield on the door is bugged and it doesn't stop concussions. Another reason is that if defenders are in a post plan situation, this shield will limit their movement. And when vaulting, it will put them in a vulnerable position. Another creative counter to the Zofia trick is to put Clash's shield in a way that blocks the drone hole. This forces attackers to either throw a nade from CC window which exposes them to a construction window and multiple jump paths and runouts, or they would go below to use Zofia's project halls. Defenders could set up a one-off strat to hold lounge, lobby and atom. In this round, giants use vertical holes and shields to waste time below. Another counter to bandit tricking is to open this part of garage wall. Capital can shoot his fireballs at the ceiling and put the floor by CCTV wall on fire. Since Wama is a very common pick, this method is not as effective as it used to be. Attackers can also throw nades from CCTV window. Because the attacker on CCTV window is exposed to multiple runouts and jump outs, Another attacker should support him or her. When throwing the nade, the attacker must also be careful of any peaks from CCTV window or construction window. Another way attackers can counter bandit tricking is by going below and shooting explosives and then concussions from stock, atom or front porch. Using concussions while proning on front porch door is very inconsistent and I wouldn't suggest it. Defender's way of countering this method is by having somebody in bar who uses these stock holes and somebody using holes on CCTV floor. It seems if every punch from attackers, defenders do a counter punch. Is there any other way to open CCTV wall? Yes, there is, and he's called Maverick. Maverick can easily soften any reinforcement by torching two straight lines on a panel of a reinforced wall. Which panel should Maverick soften? This seems like a pros and cons list to me. Right wall gives you quick access to a planned spot. Left wall gives you direct access to default planned spot. Right wall puts more pressure on rafters, but the left wall puts less pressure on rafters. Right wall gives you the opportunity to quickly swing top rest stairs players. Left wall will give you deeper angle onto top rest stairs. Both walls give you the option to clear radio shield easily from outside. Both walls pressure cache. Almost the same method can be used to open both walls. Right wall has less visibility on CCTV corner. And you can't clear south side of CCTV. Left wall has less visibility onto rafters. And it's less safer from top rest stairs because defenders can use the right wall as cover to pick and kill you. That cover also gives defenders better line of sight onto garage stairs. You need to also repel on the side to pressure cache, which exposes you to garage door. In different circumstances, I think each panel helps with both takes, but overall, 
right wall is good for construction and garage takes and left wall is good for garage takes unfortunately there is no good counter to maverick tricking you could use kate's electro claw on lounge ceiling to stop maverick from repelling to maybe shoot his feet while he's on the platform but that's hard because the attackers will support maverick while he's torching defenders also could use smoke canisters or c force to base time there's also this angle from lounge that you need to be aware of overall there is no good way to stop maverick tricking right now what does the future look like for CCTV Vault? With the repeat feature coming to the game in year 6, we might see some old strats picked up again. For example, if Vama isn't picked, we might see Capital Counter again. One thing that concerns me is the interaction between gadgets and electricity. In Operation Crimson Heist, you can now place gadgets on electrified surfaces. As I've mentioned before, one of the counters to Maverick Tricking is electrocuting the wall so Maverick can't repel. And now, by throwing a C4, you might be able to kill Maverick while torching the wall. This trick works really well when Maverick is torching the top part of the wall. Flores' gadget might also cause some trouble in low ranks. All in all, I don't predict any huge change for CCTV wall. I forgot to mention that you can make Maverick tricking harder and inconsistent by shooting random holes on top and bottom of the wall. This method doesn't waste a lot of time and it's useless against teams that open the soft part of the reinforcement before Maverick checking. If you make a row of holes below CTV wall, you can hear and see the blue color of EMPs. You can shoot Ibana pallets on top part of garage wall from bedroom. Kali can't destroy this electro claw. Two flank drones for main stairs. After clearing cash. You can breach top red wall with Selma or Xkyros. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.